Alrighty, we are going to install a Whelan hideaway light in the reverse light here. And uh, this is on a 2017 Dodge. So this is really easy because the reverse light bulb actually goes right here. And we want these lights. They say they're 360, but they are not. They shine pretty much straight out. So try to get them shining out as possible, uh, as straight as possible. Uh, so this one's really easy because this is going to shine straight out. So the first thing you do, need a one inch drill bit. Okay, well, we're going to drill a hole right here. We're going to line up right on the back side and go straight in. Alright, now before we do any more drilling, uh, there's a trick to this and it is to keep the plastic from sticking to the inside of the plastic. So the plastic you drill is going to static charge and is going to stick to the lens. So what we need to do first is wet the lens. And you can use anything, water, this is just some glass cleaner. Put that on there and that will immediately take away the static charge. Now that the static has been dissipated, you're going to be able to hook up a vacuum while you drill and it's going to pull the shavings away without having them stick to the lens. see we didn't get any plastic in here at all and if you do this and you keep the static off it the stat the plastic isn't going to stick to this you'll be amazed the amount of static charge that builds up on this flat piece of plastic and it just sucks the stuff in there now last thing you have to do push that little piece that you just cut out if it doesn't stick in the drill bit like it didn't on this one you have to fish it out and there it is Okay, so that's step one. Step two, take this, and there's two holes on this. You're going to set it on here. Now, uh, this is a used one, so they've lost the backing plate, which is a seat plate. And I highly recommend using it. Fortunately, I have a new one here. Now, this plate here serves more than a purpose of just dissipating the heat it will keep you from breaking the plastic so we're going on an uneven surface here and if you put this in here and you tighten these screws all the way down okay you're going to take this and you're going to break it and break the seal so put that on there put your plate on there drill your holes and then you're going to add this piece of foam. If you don't have that, silicone them in. And I will take silicone and I will silicone them with a black silicone, something that is uh, that can be removed if you scrape it off. Um, I don't use a hardening silicone on this. And then you can drop this in here, uh, screw it down, and then put the silicone around the outside edge to keep the water out of it. So this particular light, um, uh, then you're going to use some very small screws and I pre-drill these and these take a number one Phillips bit so I will take a tiny bit and I will pre-drill it put one screw in almost all the way down then you pre-drill it put the second screw in and just snug them up 
don't go tight on these because you don't want to break the circuit board or the seal okay and that's pretty much it and that's what it's going to look like after i end up uh, screwing this in and then on this one here because i only have one seal uh, i am going to put silicone around here and uh, and then this light is also we're also going to put a red up here up on this side and there's going to be a red here and this is very uneven so i'm going to be using long screws and uh, I'm going to be going as close as I can to be shining straight out. And I will show you what the end product looks like here. Let's look at the battery. So you can see I've got the one up on the top shining out and I've got this one down here and it's shining out so when you're behind the vehicle it's very bright and like I said these wheel on lights they say that they're 360 but they're not see that's sideways and you can see that just overwhelms the camera and you can even see it on the light here you can see almost all the all the light goes away so definitely try to get these pointing as straight out as possible because you can see the pattern right there so there you go that's how it looks when it's done and that's how you install them hope this helps